Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Riker, back at you with another video review. And today we'll be taking a look at the WWE Elite Series 93, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yes, this was a tricky figure to find, but I'm so glad I finally found him and got the pretty much the last one. If you've seen my toy hunt when I found this, this was actually pretty lucky. But I got him. This is the regular version. This is not the Chase. So I'm hoping to track down the Chase version at some point. But I was more interested in the regular, so I'm glad I got the regular version. Because I remember this outfit from when I was a kid. Not only did he wear this during his WCW days, but he also wore it, uh, when I, well, you know, when I was a kid when he did that one off when he did that appearance at WrestleMania 25. So, very cool. I'm a little mixed on this figure, but but we'll see how it is when we open it up. But before we do so, take a look at the packaging first. Anyways, a picture of Ricky Steamboat down there. Ricky Steamboat. Same thing. Picture over here. Early collection. Series 93. Where's the top series 93 and the back has a picture of Ricky Steamboat in the outfit his uh, stats and his bio you can pause from there if you want to read and it is missing the uh, WCW United States Championship but that's okay so like I say you can pause right there if you want to read and the other figures instead we got Seth Rollins T-Bar Karrion Cross, Cesaro of course Ricky Steamboat and Raquel Gonzalez Seth Rollins will be next he's the show former of the series I found uh, I think two of him at Target and I think two of him at Walmart, which you'll see that in in the toy hunt I did, because I did one at Walmart and Target, so I've seen this figure multiple times, so I'll pick him up. T-Bar, pass. Karrion Cross, I reviewed him uh, a couple weeks ago, so if you haven't seen it, check that out. Cesaro, maybe, we'll see. Ricky Steamboat, obviously reviewing him today. Raquel Gonzalez, I did pick her up. Great figure. I don't have much to say about her, so I won't be reviewing her. Anyways, that does it for the packaging, so let's open up Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And see what we have. We'll be right back. Okay, so here I have Ricky Steamboat out of the packaging, and this figure rocks. Great figure. Uh, I have a couple issues with it, but still a really great figure. And I'm glad to have this version of Ricky Steamboat because I prefer his early '90s run. That's when his outfits got more colorful and more eye-catching. Whereas during his run in the 1980s, they were like this, like just very basic. So it's great to see this. Anyways, take a look. First, it comes with uh, two pairs of hands. It has the uh, kind of claw hands, which I just hate these hands. And also the uh, gripping hands. And then for the first time, and I believe for the first time ever, we get the WCW Television Championship, which is very nice. The strap is not like really, really flimsy or flexible. It's kind of harder, but it is nice, but it's not stiff. So it's like a mix between the two. So that's nice. Love the detail on it. Very cool to see this belt. And like I said, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first time we've seen it with the Mattel figure. So it's nice to have a new belt. And he does have a removable headband, which is kind of tricky uh, to get off. Oh, there it goes. It was, just the way his hair is molded, it gets stuck uh, sometimes. So that does come off. Now we have Ricky Steamboat ready for action. Uh, we got a new head scan, which this is where I was really mixed. This head scan is... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this head scan. About, I mean, it looks like him, but at the same time it kind of doesn't. I don't know, it just doesn't... I don't know, it just seems off. I mean, it's not terrible by any means. I've seen a lot worse Ricky Steamboat head scans. But... Eh, it's alright. Alright, moving down. Good torso choice. Not too bulky, not too skinny. Uh, I think the arms might be a tad bit too skinny, but that's probably just me. And moving down to his gear, which I love this gear. One of my favorite outfits of Ricky Steamboat. Like I said, I'm glad during the 90s he stepped it up and put more effort into his outfits, like made it more colorful and everything. And this definitely brings me back to uh, my childhood at WrestleMania 25 when he brought this gear back in the three-on-one handicap match against Jericho. He didn't wear the same boots, but he did wore, wear these pants. I mean, if it's not, it's very, very close to it. And he's got the dragon there. It does have a little picture of Steamboat there in the corner. Very, very cool. And it just moves around to his back. And then the maroon boots with the dragon on the side there. So, very cool. So hopefully we get more uh, early 90s Ricky Steamboat. It's, it's actually... I'm glad it's something different, too, because usually every time we get a Ricky Steamboat figure, it's from the 1980s. Like, the, um, 
like th this basic here, which I'll bring in for a comparison. They've made a couple of elites of this. This is like 1980s Ricky Steamboat. The Legends Ricky Steamboat, that was from the 80s. And then we did get a early 90s Ricky Steamboat when he came back to WWE in, I think it was 91? When he came back as this monstrosity, the dragon. And then we did get a 2009 era Ricky Steamboat uh, back when Mattel first started making uh, the WWE figures. But like I said, aside from this and the uh, two-pack I just mentioned, the 2009 era Ricky Steamboat, every Ricky Steamboat we've gotten has been from the uh, late 80s. So I'm glad we got a early 90s Ricky Steamboat. So something different. So like I said, hopefully we get more errors because he had some cool freaking attire back then. This is just one of them. And the, the Chase variant is another one of them. Yeah, both in the early 90s. Great attire. So hopefully we get more early 90s Ricky Steamboat. Anyways, articulation. Pretty standard for a normal elite nowadays. Head rotates 360. I uh, can go up and down slightly. Arms 360. In and out. Rotate the bicep. Double jointed elbow. Love it. Rotate the wrist and hinge. Ab crunch. That far forward and that far back. Waist. Legs forward that far. I uh, wish they can go up a little bit higher for his drop kicks. And back to the original position. In and out. Rotate the thigh. Double jointed knee. So with the boot. And then hinge the ankle. It's an older boot mold so it's not as stiff and tight. And then a slight ankle pivot. So very nice figure. Something different. Like, like it's not the usual 1980s Ricky Steamboat. It's our early 90s this time. So, very different, and I think they su pretty much succeeded. Like I said, despite its flaws, really good figure. So, I would say, definite must-get. Final thoughts, overall, really great figure. So glad we got something different for Ricky Steamboat this time around. I'm glad I picked him up, and I'm glad it's this gear, too, because, like I said, I remember it when I was growing up as a kid. So, like I said, very solid figure. I really like this figure. My only real complaints with it is I wish the head scan could have been a little bit better. And also minor loose joints in the uh ankles and the uh elbows uh, like just a little bit but especially the ankles like they're very loose and it's gonna make it tough for him to stand up for a shelf display stop motions figure photography whatever so hopefully not too many people have that problem and of course i have a slight quality control issue with the uh with the paint there are a few paint scratches here and there but once again hopefully nobody else has that problem like i said uh, aside from the loose ankle joints really nice figure so i say if you're a ricky steamboat fan and collector definitely pick him up this is definitely a figure i would not pass on but this is definitely worth it probably one of the best elite figures of the year so if you see him in the store or if you can get him online for a good price he's actually pretty cheap on ringside collectibles i think he's like 18 bucks uh right now as far as some sale amazon he's a little pricey target and walmart he's a little tricky to find so i say if you can find him or get him for a good deal definitely pick him up you probably will not regret it and it definitely stands out in your collection with this very toyetic uh, outfit. So I'll say highly recommended. Anyways, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the toy hunt when I found this figure at uh, Target as well as Walmart. I did that day. And also stay tuned for this uh, Sunday, which is actually uh, tomorrow. I will be attending. It's that time of year again. And that is the convention of Retrocon where I go and I pick up a whole bunch of new figures and I cosplay and everything so stay tuned for maybe a vlog of that as well as a pickup video and then also reviews of whatever I pick up. And also stay tuned for more reviews of W action figures, AEW action figures, toy hunts, stop motions, and more. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Anyways, that's about it. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, remember, you can't touch my dream and you can't touch my soul. I'm out. Take care.